what is the difference between a red team and blue teaming? And what are some of the courses that you could take to gain knowledge for either side? What's going on everybody? I'm Cyber Tom. I'm back with you for another video. Today we're going to dive into the differences between working red team versus blue team. And I'm going to provide you with ways to learn either side. I cannot read minds, but I think that I can predict that this is something you have looked up before. And that is, what is red teaming versus blue teaming in cybersecurity? You know how I know that? Because you clicked this video. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So what is red teaming? What is blue teaming? Maybe you have even heard the term purple teaming. Let's start with red teaming first. In cybersecurity, there are two sides. You either are preventing the attacker or you are the attacker. You might ask yourself, why would there be a hacker? Well, have you ever heard the term to stop a hacker? You must be a hacker. In cybersecurity, companies all over hire red teamers to come in and perform penetration tests. Now, this could be either physical or technical. This could mean that they're trying to break the locks to get into your buildings, or they're trying to break your systems. Now, that's not to say that they break everything, but what they will do is bend the system to a point and then stop. Typically, the consulting red team company is gonna sign an agreement of their scope or what they can hack. This just ensures that the production servers are not being brought down in the middle of the day because that would simply be a mess. Red teamers are very technical and they need to know the latest technologies and how to break them. They also need to be aware of the latest patches and how they can break into that network in a new way. Now, these people typically just live and breathe hacking. So something to consider when weighing both sides. Red teamers typically perform these tests within a time frame of around one to three weeks. They will scan the client's network. They're gonna discover the vulnerabilities and spend time attacking these vulnerable hosts to see which information they can gather that a real hacker would have access to. All of this while staying in scope, which speaks to the anxiety that that could put on somebody. Then they will write up all of their steps in a documentation and report and provide guidance on how to mitigate these vulnerabilities. It is worth noting that there is far less of a demand in cybersecurity for red teaming versus blue teaming. A quick search on a job posting would show you that. Now, if you are somebody that thinks they can handle all of that, then red teaming might be for you. Are you somebody with a lot of free time that likes to tinker? If so, then it might be for you. So if you are interested in this side of cybersecurity, then I would recommend a great course on Coursera. It is called Ethical Hacking Essentials by EC Council. Now, EC Council is a household name in the world of cybersecurity, and it's been bringing real world education courses and certifications to IT professionals for years. In this course, you're gonna learn the fundamentals of ethical hacking, identifying threats, network level attacks, such as session hijacking. Man, that just sounds cool, right? Even more, you're gonna learn the OWASP top 10 to teach you the fundamentals of web application penetration testing. You're gonna learn mobile attacks, IoT attack, social engineering techniques, password cracking, and much more. This will give you a great baseline to put on your resume to improve the status in your field. I'm confident that you will take away a lot of great information that you will be able to apply to a position. So go to the next level and become an ethical hacker. Now, some of you might say, none of that seems appealing to me. I don't like to tinker 24 seven. I want something more day to day and I wanna be the one doing the defending. That is where blue teaming comes to play. There would be no need for a red team if there wasn't a blue team already protecting the infrastructure in the first place. In the blue team role, you're gonna find yourself protecting the network. This could be in the position of a SOC analyst, a security engineer, or a cloud engineer. When it comes to blue teaming, you have to be alert and curious all the time. There will be some long days if there's an incident. You will be deploying and managing firewalls, email security, endpoint detection and response, and VPNs. There is really a lot of fun to be had in blue teaming. You really will be on the front lines of protecting people from these malicious 
actors. We will on occasion also work with ethical hackers to mitigate any vulnerabilities that they find. Being a blue team member means being the wall between you and the outside. The company depends on you to ensure their data safety. So do not think that this is an easy job either. The plus side of blue teaming is the amount of jobs that are available. Defensive security really does make up most of the cybersecurity roles and it's not even close. Every day of every second, systems need to be monitored. And of course, you won't be expected to do so alone, but do expect that responsibility to be a link in the chain to hold back the forces of the dark, so to speak. As you know, I am a blue teamer. This side of the road better suits me. And I think maybe a lot of you will think the same for yourselves. Now, there's a lot of nonsense out there when it comes to courses and degrees. So I would like to point you in the right direction of where to start if you're watching this and you're thinking defensive is right for you. I'm gonna give you two recommendations this time on tools that I think are gonna help you in your blue teaming career. The first recommendation is gonna be the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate, a self-paced online program available on Coursera. The reason why I chose this certificate is because Microsoft is high in demand. Most of the companies that I've seen out there on LinkedIn and Indeed are looking for some Microsoft knowledge in some capacity. And this certification will bring you to that. You will learn a tool called Microsoft Defender, which is a popular endpoint detection and response tool. You will learn Azure, which is a very popular cloud platform that many companies are using. And the Microsoft operating system, which most endpoint devices are running Windows. The next certification that I recommend is the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity Specialization. This five course series will help you learn security principles, incident response, access controls, and network security. These topics are the basics, but important and needed to begin in the field of a blue teamer. The last topic in the specialization is security operations, where you're gonna learn the best practices and what security operations are, as you may have heard it called, a SOC. Understanding the different sides of security can be confusing. I know it was for me, really, when I first started. I hope I was able to solve this dilemma for you. Again, check out those courses that I mentioned to you on Coursera and get your feet in the game. Most of the courses on Coursera provide a seven day free trial. Another reason why I like their courses. Check out their content and see if you wanna stick with it or not. But I believe you will. See the link in my description to explore Coursera's free cybersecurity career guide, including many cybersecurity programs. You can start with a seven day free trial. Again, in simple terms, red teams attacking, blue team is defending thanks for watching consider subscribing if you're new here and drop a comment down below let me know which side of security you want to work on catch you guys in the next video